Welcome to episode 40 of Stronger Together, my series with the Mighty Team Valley. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, get commenting down below. And if you really want to help me and my channel out, you can always become a patron for about a pound a month. Bargain. Anything more, you're a hero. Now, biggest episode ever, really. Maybe not for game importance, but for club importance. Yeah, wow. Did we recoup some money and have I spent some money? Like I always say, I don't know how long a series like this can go on for. I thought it was time to take some risks, take some gambles, make some major changes and see if we can kick on another level. Also, you'll see we have a new shirt up in the office, although it's not new. I've just got it out of the cupboard and dusted it off. I had to put it back up there. I had to. For two reasons. One, of course, is his double saves in the FA Cup final brilliant performance from Lee and the other reason is he really is our number one for a whole different quite sad reason right then let's get into the episode let's start here with a bit of sad news and it is always sad when an absolute legend leaves a club Joe Page came to me in the season said he wanted a new challenge and he didn't change his mind and um, there's been huge huge changes at the club huge and this team in Greece they're in the Champions League. They had a bit of money. They bought three players off me. Three defenders. So I don't know if they're trying to nick a bit of our glory. But anyway, Joe Page, legend to the channel, legendary subscriber, is a good friend of mine too in real life. So I was sad. And that's why Lee is the number one. He is the sole survivor now of the originals. The only one left. So yeah, Joe, he's gone out to Greece, lovely place to live, great weather, and I wish him all the best, man. Can't believe he's gone. So yeah, I've made huge changes, huge changes. I've spent a ton of money, and I've recouped a ton of money. And you'll know, and I've, I've mentioned it a few times, I don't show it you all the time, but I do try and sign good young players, three, four, five stars if I can, stick them in the reserves, loan them out, and I've accumulated a lot of them. A lot of them hitting 21, 20, 22, and... It was time to just cash in. Like I said, I want to go for it this year. I've had a complete, and I mean a complete, pretty much overhaul of this squad. So many new players in. Don't know really how it's going to work. It might backfire. It might kick us on to a whole new level. So I want to go through the players that have gone. Some of them you'll never see. I'm going to go through them quickly, some of them. So feel free to pause it if you want to look at them. Um, but yeah, business and the summer was crazy so i made 187 million in player sales some guys have gone that we know some guys have gone from the youth team some guys like this geezer are brought in just to sell straight on 28 and a half million another player came in and i thought don't really fancy it don't actually really need you signed on a free always the best ones and then moved on for 25 million sold for 24 million with a few add-ons later, it's a Breu, good little player. He wasn't happy with his game time. Great servant to the club. One of the three players to leave was Nathan Barry. Again, great player. He signed a new deal last year. Um, didn't really want to sell him, but I kind of also really wanted to upgrade from him. I suppose it's just a sad one. I know he's a regen. Um, it's not an original, but he feels like an original. Next to leave was Quebec for 15 million. He's gone to play for Club Bruges. Good little player. He's done a shift for me when needed. Sold for 15 with a few extra add-ons. It's Matheson. So yeah, three players have gone to PAOK. -okay. Three defenders, so I mean, a bit random. And all three of these guys had a lot of interest. And all three of these guys chose them. I think it's because they're in the Champions League. Kroll, another player that's... Not an original, but he kind of feels like an original. He's been with us that long. Been a great backup. Great backup to Martin. Um, but again, at his age now, it's time for him to go. Got about seven and a half for him. He's gone out to Turkey. Young Peter, he's also gone. I mean, him and Quebec have been like backup central midfielders, but I have overhauled this team and I am excited about this team now. Another player signed for nothing. A young player, decent young player. Sold in for a good few million. It's Raphael Chamora. Another player to leave for about 5 million to West Ham. A player who, again, a lot of these are signed on freeze in summers. I've signed on freeze, put them in the reserves, loaned them out. He's been loaned out freaking to Holland and Germany. He's gone to West Ham. The last player to go for a good few million, about 4.2, is Joshua Nixon, who had a lot of promise. Signed him for United on the free. He's been loaned out, didn't do too much. He looks pretty decent. So let's try and get through them as quick as possible. I know it takes ages, but you need to see this squad. 
Uh, the first player signed on a free from Madrid is Jose Alberto Jimenez. I have been very busy. I will sort out their regen faces. I like to give them fancy faces when they become my player. Another player on a free and another player from Real Madrid is Kermara. And another wonder kid, free wonder kids. It's like Christmas. Um, but yeah, he's going to come in and compete for Joe's old job. Another freebie. Um, loads of them. I love it. Just do scouting. Tons of them, I think. Uh, it's Thomas Sabold. Now, he's got loads of potential. He's not a wonder kid. So I don't get out wonder kids work on this game, to be fair. But he's a good, solid, young centre-half. Honestly, I know. What is wrong with Real Madrid? This summer, they are just releasing their players. and not signing them up. He cost me nothing again. Apparently, he's a wonder kid. You can argue that. And they just kept on coming for Madrid. And you know about this one. And this kid's going to compete. How they've let him go on a free. How have I signed this lad on a free? I showed him you in the last episode. I don't know. I don't know, but he's got a lovely moustache. And he's gunning for that number one spot. Now it was time to spend a little bit of money. And I spent 35 million with a few extras on Daniel Webster. Now, he's been getting loaned out by Arsenal. I think he's a fantastic player. Arsenal in the summer, I don't know his name, is a region. They've spent big on a striker. I haven't really bought Daniel in as a striker, but I just thought to myself, I've got Fletcher, we've got Pedro. Pedro can play like this kid as well in two different positions, so they'll switch. One player I did sign as well was Manuel Ribeiro. We've had him a couple of seasons on loan. He came up for sale. Again, he's cost me a good chunk of cash, but I'm not, he's not the best in the world, but he's fast. He's a good all-round player and he knows the club. He's done great things for me. So, yeah, he's now our player. Signed on a free <laughs> is world-class midfielder Craig McCulloch from Everton. He's been, obviously, doing a decent job for them. He used to play for Middlesbrough. Contracts come to an end. I love this pickup. I love it because I just feel like he's a bit... He's what I need, I think, in the middle. Definite upgrade on Qbert Carpeter. We've got a new left winger to compete with Oli Bayliss and it's Kevin Larson. Um, signed from West Bromwich Albion for about £31.5 with add-ons. 21 years old. Bags of potential. So, adding depth to this team. So, a bit more steel and to give us that more depth in the middle. I mean, the whole in the middle of the midfield, all four midfielders are new. I'm pretty sure of that. Um, it's Graham Woods. Um, great name. And the signing for about 16 and a half base with shit ton of add-ons uh, from Southampton. So, you know, good teams like that, like West Brom and Southampton, they've got these good players. You need to come to an elite club like us. At left back, we've signed Hansel Echeverria. You need a nickname. Might call you Gretel for a laugh. Um, but yeah, good little 21-year-old Mexican to compete with Lions at left back. To complete that new central midfield... We've got Osvaldo, again signed from America in Mexico. Wonder kid, brilliant player. Um, pushed the boat out on this one because Grasso couldn't get his work permit. Grasso, I mean, I feel like it's going to what, be three seasons before signing him. I just messed up that first year, letting him stay in Argentina. Should have brought him back sooner. Um, he was only 5% away. He was 5% short of having enough to get his work permit. So put him out for loan. And he's gone to Barcelona, our superstar, still hasn't played for us. Had the choice of Real Madrid and Barca, and he chose Barcelona. So, wow. I mean, surely he's got, he's got the caps now. That, he's got the two extra caps. He had four, 5% short. So, I made sure that when I did offer him out on loan, I can recall him this time. And it's worked out for me sometimes, obviously, with Jefferson, but it didn't work out with Grasso. But there's so many great players out there, especially in Argentina. I've not got the league running, but I've scouted that place. And I pushed the ball out on a few minimum fees and I've signed a lot of guys who are young, wonder kids, superstars, who, this is where a lot of my money's gone, can't play for us yet. I've just loaned them straight out. If it takes a year or two, I don't care. There's going to be this hot bit of talent, hopefully one day getting work permits or maybe even getting sold on for more money. So you know a lot of the other guys, but this is a completely, I think, revamped squad. Now we've still got Pedro, great striker, came into his own at the end. We've still got Fletcher, who we all know is my son, but can score goals which is very important. We've got Larson and Bayliss, who goes missing in some big games, but he's pretty much consistent throughout the season. Uh, Ribeiro, we've kept Bosco because he's got so much potential, uh, five-star potential, with uh, Jackson, who's not the best on paper, but he's like going to be a spare winger, can play on both wings, usually puts in a performance. Um, the Sheriff, he stayed as well, so he's going to be competing for that role behind the striker, but I like the idea of Pedro and Webster. 
switching. Obviously, we've got all the new four midfielders who you've seen. Um, if we go to the back line, we've got the new keeper. We've still got Greeno, of course, but he's actually got a bit of competition this year. And I'm going to try and give him both games as much as I can. But I obviously want to develop that young keeper. It's very rare you find a wonder kid goalkeeper. Very rare. And holy sh... It started snowing. It was... I was in my shorts yesterday. Blue skies. This country, man. Uh, obviously, Sam Lyons at left back. Great young player. Wonder kid. Welsh. Welsh wonder kid. Um, if we go over to the right, you've seen Kamara. So we've still got Brennan. He's going to compete with the new guy, Kamara, in the middle. Fordy, who is captain, but I'm thinking of changing it because he wants to leave and he spat his dummy out. Wants to go to a bigger club. Arsehole. Um, Jefferson, still here, the one work permit that did work. <laughs> Good centre half. Um, obviously, you've seen the new guy. We've got Woodward, who is about somewhere, even though he can play midfield, can't he? Woodward's still here. I think this is the best team. It's young. We've got loads of wonder kids. We've got loads of talent, loads of potential. The book is like this new squad. Could we start to get up there when it comes to the odds? They think we're going to be seventh. Of course, we're in the Champions League. I want to compete. I want to still get in the top four. I'd like to get higher than we've done in the past. Um, been a lot of changes as well, managerial-wise. Managers have left. Other managers have come in to take their place, which is pretty cool. United obviously didn't do great last year. Um, they brought a new guy in. I can't remember where Luis Enrique's left and gone to. Jurgen Klopp's coming at Arsenal because they missed out in the Champions League. There's been major changes, so it could be a really exciting year. You don't know how, how it's going to go, do you? Our overall best 11, and I love this. I like to look at it because there's so many legendary names on here. Legendary names, right, from our golden generation. Some of them you're going to see again. Now, if I ever said to you that Brian Kane's career in a Team Valley shirt wouldn't be over, you'd be thinking, you can't sign him back, surely. Well, I haven't, no. But this is one of the coolest things ever to happen. After 11 seasons, Lee Greenshields got himself a testimonial. Not only that, some ex-players came back. One of them was a regen who had never really played for us. Um, Rogan, Hogan, whatever his name is. Why has he come back? But Carl Martin, Ben Ballantyne and Brian Kane came back to wear a Valley shirt and play in it. I could manage him one more time and I was buzzing with that. The first game, though, was a warm-up against, I can't say them, but we all know what team it is. It's CP's team. Um, again, I think he played up front, yeah, and he was captain, and he plays week in, week out. I love how he's gone home and had this great career. We had a testimonial, and I got to choose the opponent, so we chose Austria-Vienna. Davon Motions, Austria-Vienna. Brian Kane. I never thought I'd see Brian Kane in a Tame Valley shirt again. Not only that, he scored two goals. Um, which was fantastic. Ben Ballantyne, who has finally left Bolton this summer, so he's not a Bolton anymore, he's gone to Telford. I thought he was going to go last year, but I think he hung on in there. So Ben Ballantyne is now at Telford. He came back, played amazing. Cal Martin, brilliant to have him back at left back. The other geezer was never even a player when he was here, so I was a bit disappointed he didn't bring back a CP or a Joey Page or a Daryl Motion or something like that. I don't know why they didn't. Then it was time for our annual Evolving Mindset Cup and we invited Bolton because I always do. And then I realised Ben Ballantyne had left and it was too late. Um, so they might not come again. Uh, and then I invited Fortuna Dusseldorf because they asked for an affiliate this summer and they let me choose. So I chose them because that's where Brian Kane is. Like I did with Crew and Lee Masters. Although Lee has dropped down a level. He's left um, Crew where he scored 10 goals in 58 games and he's at the national level. So he's, you know, he's in non-league, but I think this might be good for him at 30. So he's on to the final and we beat Bolton 4-0. Always good to win the Evolving Mindset Cup. The rest of pre-season was really good. So we played OB. Mr. Martin was there. So that was quite cool. Um, since I had him on my team, played against him. Uh, then we went on the Tour of the States. Didn't play anyone too hard. Played some classic legendary teams, old teams I like. Uh, and then I had to do this. I had to play them. I mean, they've signed three of me players. Three. All defenders, Matheson, Barry and Page. And they're in the Champions League, but we did hand them a new one. Page was their best player. Oh, that was heartbreaking. Uh, I think Matheson was injured, I think. And let's be honest, after a career like that with the Valley, you can see why I'm just gutted, because 
If he'd have stayed, if he hadn't have left, he'd have had a testimonial as well. I'd have had the option for him. I didn't get that chance, which is massively disappointing. That would have he deserved that testimonial. League winners, FA Cup winners go heads to head against Chelsea, who did well against us, beat us 4-2 in the league at the end of the season. And then obviously we saw the FA Cup together, didn't we? Where we were pretty lucky. Now, is this a sign that my team's better? Is it? So it's a big season. We've already picked up two cups, evolving mindset. And the community shield. I really like to win the Carabao. Let's try and get the full set. <laughs> probably not. Probably the B team in that. Got loads of games to play, especially the Champions League. Got Dortmund again in the group, as you can see. Sevilla, freaking good team. AZ, but we've got a good chance of getting through that. And I've got a lot of confidence in the Chelsea game. I mean, I've upset the balance. I don't know. We've brought in a lot of quality. I think I've got the best team ever. So we're just going to play live on TV away from home at West Brom. Not the most glamorous game, I know. But I just want to kick the episode off, have a game, and then we'll come back for the next one into the Champions League. Could be a tasty one, that. Because look with the, the way the group is, could have a head-to-head -head with Dortmund or something, or Sevilla to hopefully qualify. We'll see. You never know. Um, but I feel like I've got a decent run there until Chelsea. Just good chance to pick up some points. Southampton, got United. It's quite split. I quite like it. It's quite spread out. So welcome to the Hawthorns. Now I've got about five players carrying injuries and one player out injured, which is Ribera. So, you know, I've had to make a few changes to possible what I'd consider my best team, but I still think that is a fantastic team. A lot of new faces. So here we go, playing in our red shirt with the white bottoms. I like how you can mix and match the kits. Never knew, I never knew how to do that in the editor. You just need to add extra colours and put them in the right level. So it just gives you more options. You know, kit clashes. Heckman, look at him. Straight away. Getting a booking. Was he bitter or something? Are you being bitter, Heckman? Hopefully you don't have a great game though today. And score against us. Here's Bosco to Woods. Woodsy is a cracking little player. Can play right back fully as well. So I've got extra options. Got tons of options this year. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, boys. God. Yeah, I mean, it's the biggest overhaul ever. It's the biggest summer ever. Club's in a great spot. Um, it's sad, isn't it, though? It is sad when, like, it's a page ago, but... Yeah, it's it always going to happen, but... Like I said, I don't know how long this is going to go on for. I genuinely, genuinely don't. Is, it just, is this the last season? Are we going to two more seasons? Are we going to do three more? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I never know. So, I just want to go for it now. Let's try and make money, spend money make this club a winner, a proper, proper winner. And I think all the hard work I've put into it, all the support you've given me, the only way we could go out is on top by winning a Premier League or a Champions League, possibly. Right, come on, here's Larson, Webster, pinging it out to Lyons on the left, back to McCulloch, nice bit of football, Webster, oh! oh. We might change it up, I might bring on one of my new flair players in the middle, in the second half, see what we can do. Hopefully we can do something. All these new players. I want to win this freaking game. Start our campaign off in style. Right, here's Larson, the new left winger. Where's he going with that? Pass inside to Webster. Webster! Oh! But they've just loaned him out and loaned him out last two years. And then they've gone and spent a ton of money on a new player. Right, what's wrong with him? Give him a chance and there he is. Oh, man. Maybe that's why. Can't score. So it's half time here at the off arms. We can't break that deadlock, but we're turning that screw, looking like we're getting better and better. We just got to find that goal. We've made a change. Uh, McCulloch switched over onto the right hand side. Woods has come off for Jimenez. Talented little wonder kid. See what he can do. See if he can do anything. All right, here we go. Lions. I've made a change. I haven't taken effect yet. Larson is the guy who's going to be coming off for Bayless. Here's McCulloch, though. Cracking little player. World class as well. I don't think he looks it on paper, but he looks good. But yeah, nice little pick up that. Can't lie. But yeah, the thing is, I think for a long time, we punched above our weight because of that brotherhood, didn't we? That group of players that stayed together for so long, knew each other inside and out. Whereas now I've got loads of talent, but they've got to get to know each other. I think they will. I think I've made the right kind of signings. I've gone for quality. Here's Bosco for Larson. Still on the pitch. Pings out to Kamara. Joe Page's replacement. What are you going to do with it, kid? Finds Bosco. Oh, come on. Now, I am considering the new kid on the block in goal for the league because he is a big talent, man. As much as I love Greeno. Uh, Greeno getting the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup and sharing the Champions League with the new kid. That's my plan for this season. He's probably not going to be happy about it. He'll probably moan in the comments. 
gonna attack him. Just demanded some more. Oh, come on, boys. Don't want to be getting beat off West Brom. Home all the way. Right, come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right, last highlight of the game. Can Bayless perform any magic? Not doing that, but Bosco might pick this up. Come on, this is the last roll of the dice. He crosses it back in, and my God. Nil-nil. We didn't get beat. Although, you know, we should be winning these kind of games if we ever want a challenge for a title. But it's, you know, new players. They've got a bed in. So there we go, not the start I wanted, but at least we didn't get beat. Something to build on. Hopefully this team can just get into gear, start scoring some goals. Some players come back who are one. Got choices, man. Um, I'm looking forward to the season. Chelsea, back at the top with City. Come on the Valley, though. I still think it's going to be a great season. Well, there you go. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you get involved in the comments. Let me know how you're feeling about the Valley going forward. Um, back to work from tomorrow, so... Going forward, I'm hoping two Valley episodes and two um, Road to Anywhere Journeyman episodes a week. That's probably the best most I can do at the minute. We'll see. If we can do anything extra, I will. But thank you as always for the support. Thank you for watching today. Thank you for sticking with the Valley. Don't get the best views, but you're my favourite views. You're a legend. Stay happy, stay safe and booed. Bye-bye.